Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC. Got another box, uh, another knife from Ed Durbin, the giant. Watch the previous video. The giant mega box full of knives that he sent me. I don't know what this one is. It just says tools for gents, but it's not on the list. So we're going to open it up right now. That's right, big shout out to Ed Durbin, sent me a big, just a fat box of knives, dude, massive. And uh, he sent me a list, and I'm looking at it, and I don't, this wasn't on the list, so we're going to open it and see which one this is. I already opened the, the PMP Big Boy. Ah, uh, okay, good, I picked the right one. Hell yeah, okay. First off, a lot of hardware. We got another just absurd lanyard here. Look at that, dude. What is going on? Some kind of alien probe. I have the spine of a of a dinosaur. Little butt plugs on the end. And this. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Nice pouch, by the way. Comes in a nice velveteen. The velveteen pouch. Not the velveteen rabbit. Very nice. Very nice. So the last big boy, or the, the big boy, the last PMP I touched was the first PMP I've ever touched. And I was really impressed by it. This is... Same story, dude. Big knife, first off. That's kind of what PMP does. Beautiful black with the satin hardware. Got the PMP logo there on the pivot screw. No jimping on the blade on this one, but we got a big old deployment slot and a flipper tab, so this one should be a little more fidgety. Uh, ooh, and that blade. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one I like. The PMP Revenge M390. Limited run, nice titanium pocket clip, full titanium frame lock. Again, big knife. Nice kind of contouring here. Very clean profile. Big boy. In hand. Yeah. Feels great. Feels great. I don't mind it. It's funny. These knives are really big, but they manage to stay really thin and really lightweight. Relatively lightweight. Compared to other knives, like in this size, right? Around this size. So that feels great. Choke back. Really locked in. No hot spots. No pinch points. Nestle up behind the flipper tab. Yeah. Feels great. No issues at all. Again, on this one, no finger toil. Good sharpening toil, though. A little sketchy to uh, trigger pull it, but pinch grip. Oh, yeah. With this blade, this says uh, sheep's foot. All day. All day. No questions about it. Big knife, like I said. So here is a pair of three. Spyderco pair of three. Yeah. Big. Spyderco or Spyderco. Tactile knife co. Rock wall. Yeah. Big. PMP does not make small knives. It's just, it, that's just how it goes. I like this. It's kind of reminiscent of the Snex Mini Buster. Just like a really big, ridiculous version of it. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Lockup is solid as a rock. Very, very nice. No internal milling, even though it feels pretty light. Action. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Please. Detents. Money. Oh, my God. Running on ceramic bearings. Oh, flipper. A little soft for the flipper, but thumb flicks. Feels great. Reverse flick. Super snappy. Very, very nice. A little bit of a sharp area here on the inside of the lock bar where you disengage it. But nothing, nothing terrible. Ooh. Ooh, PMP, dude. I don't know why I've never checked out your knives before. Acoustics. Yeah, again. Just like the big boy. Acoustics are great. Very thwacky, you know what I mean? Very aggressive. Real nice blade. M390 on this one. Nice tall flat grind. Comes about 80% of the way up the height of the blade. Flat section here. Really clean sheep's foot. Looks like it was made to slice. And it looks like he's been slicing with it. Oh, yeah, I like this one. I like this one better than the last one. For obvious reasons. Let me grab some paper. We'll cut something with it real quick. Let's see here. Oh, by the way, love this backspacer. Uh, the kind of two-tone tuxedo backspacer. Sticks up. Lanyard hole back here. Absurd lanyard. Uh, same kind of hardware setup as the big boy. The three and then the pivot. Pocket clip's not reversible on this one, by the way. Just FYI. For you lefties, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love to see this with a, with a hollow grind. Maybe that's just me, but as is, yeah, that's excellent. Excellent cutting performance right out of the box. Even after him using it for God knows how long. Yeah, great. So apparently they're doing a decent job with their steel. I'm just do this. 
That's why I don't do lanyards, man. They ruined my audio. <laughs> he did tell me I could take them off, but I'd feel bad. They're loners. They're not mine. I don't get to keep these. Cutting performance is off the chain. Cuts great. Looks great. Feels great. I, I have no complaints about this one. I like this one a lot. I like the big belly, but I like this one a lot. So, there you go. The PMP Revenge. I will leave links to this down below if I can find them. Um... No promises. PMPs can be hit or miss, whether or not they're in stock. But I'm very, very impressed. Two for two on PMP knives. Definitely going to check out more of their stuff in the future. But that is it for me. Uh, be sure to check out Ed Durbin. Thank you, bro, for sending this stuff along to me to check out. I really do appreciate it. Um, be sure to follow my wife and myself on Instagram. We will have plenty of pictures there. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about pimp knives. Let me know. But that is it for me. Thank you all oh so very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.